Hi guys, I'm back. Um, it's Noni here. So I just want to give a quick disclaimer before I start. Uh, I am not a skincare specialist. I am not an esthetician. I'm not a dermatologist. I would never claim to know more than them. Um, I'm just telling you what works for my skin. Perhaps it could help you look into some cool companies or look into amplifying your skincare routine. I definitely recommend if you're in your 20s, early 20s to start taking care of your skin and make sure that you are taking anti-aging seriously um, and also making sure that if you are acne prone that you are taking care of your skin because your pores matter and your skin's feelings are going to hurt your feelings if you don't take care of it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So today I bought my box of goodies, which includes all my typical skincare routine things. So I'm just going to start with the basics, which is the cleansers that I use. Um, I actually switched to CeraVe or CeraVe, which is just, I had the basic hydrating facial cleanser. Um, it's more for dry skin. I would say I have medium type, like, it's not too dry, but it's not super oily. Um, some kind of combination, I guess you would say. But I just wanted to go with something more simple that didn't have any perfumes in it. It is non-comedogenic, which means it can't clog your pores, which is great. Um, it definitely gets rid of all my makeup. But speaking of makeup, usually during quarantine, I haven't been wearing any. But if I do wear makeup, I want a double cleanse system. So before I start with this, I actually do a pre-cleanse, which is, this is by Dermalogica, which is more on the pricier side for sure, but um, definitely want to double cleanse your skin. So this just melts off all your makeup. And what you're gonna wanna do is start with an oil-based cleanser, uh, which is fantastic because it will help melt all that gunk in your pores and get your makeup off easier and then I go in and double cleanse so I go in with my second cleanser which is this beauty right here now if I do want to physically exfoliate not chemically I go with my Dermalogica um, multivitamin thermofoliant so it's really great um, for gently scrubbing into your skin I feel like it's definitely worth the money and obviously you can see that this tube has lasted me quite a bit and it's definitely great for if you have wrinkles or you're trying to fight your age early like I am. I would not recommend using this more than twice a week. You definitely should be using it like once a week if that. Another great exfoliant which isn't physical it's actually a mask is this mask by The Ordinary. So it's AHA 30% and BHA 2%. So it's technically a peeling solution, which is great because a lot of um, skincare specialists are now recommending that you don't use physical exfoliation as much and that you should probably start switching over to chemical exfoliation. So you just leave this on your face for about 10 minutes. Um, definitely no longer than 10 minutes. That is a no-no. It's really great for acne. Um, any kind of blemishes that you have going on or if you feel like your pores are too big or whatever it may be or you're just feeling a little flaky this is the one for you if you have open sores or like open acne you don't use it it is chemical based so it will sting I'm gonna switch into toner so I have this toner by The Ordinary and I really love The Ordinary brand um, they're a brand that I really believe in a huge part of the beauty, I guess, business world is the profit gap. So what it takes for them to actually make the product versus what they sell it for is just insane. So The Ordinary actually believes in selling wonderful products for very cheap. So they don't have a large profit gap. And that's something that's really cool about them is that you get this kind of medical grade almost um, quality for super cheap. So that's the way the world should work, but it just doesn't. So here we are. This is my ordinary. This is technically more of an acid than a toner. So you only use it once a day, um, preferably at night. I have read that when you use toner, you're actually not supposed to spread it with a cotton pad and that you just pat it into your skin. However, um, sometimes I do still use a cotton pad. And if your toner is 
if you do use a cotton pad and you see makeup coming off, that means you did not cleanse well enough. Your toner is not a makeup remover. So you should just be able to like pat it into your skin. You're not like swiping it around. Just pat it with a cotton pad or your hands if your hands are clean. I will link all these products down below because you know, I want my friends or whoever's watching to be able to look into this brand. I love this brand. No, I'm not sponsored. Like I actually believe in this product a lot and this brand. I have a night and a day skin routine, which I think is really important. You need to be taking care of your skin at least twice a day. Well, maximum twice a day, like morning, night. So what I use in the daytime, serum wise, is um, the Ordinary again. So I use two main ones in the daytime. So this one is the Niacinamide 10% in Zinc 1%. So if you have acne prone skin like I do, this is wonderful. Um, I definitely get hormonal acne, so this really helps to get rid of small red bumps um, or uneven texture or even blackheads. It really helps me to melt my blackheads away. Um, I use this twice a day, so I use about three drops and I rub it in before my moisturizer. And then I use this one that's called Buffet. buffet. Um, so this one you apply in the AM and PM as well. Uh, it's really great for anti-aging purposes, which I think is important. I am 22 years old, so I'm trying to, um, keep up on my skincare so I make sure that I'm not aging and that the sun isn't deteriorating my skin. Next is, technically it is a serum, but I use it for my under eyes, um, in the morning and night. So this is also by The Ordinary and it's a caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG. What this does for me is I just pat it in my eye area and it really gets rid of any puffiness I have. It also gets rid of some darkness. It definitely isn't a full eye cream, but it does help um, really mellow my puffiness. So I really recommend this if you struggle with puffy eyes. Definitely a keeper. When it comes to more eye products, um, I have this eye cream, Sea Tango Eye Cream by The Drunk Elephant. It's this tiny little bottle. It has lasted me a really long time. I really don't use that much of it. Um, this is really, really expensive. Um, Drunk Elephant, great products, really overpriced. Disappointing because they are really overpriced. So a serum that I use specifically at night, I do mix it with the niacinamide one. And I also mix it with the caffeine solution. But this I only put on at night. So this is a retinol 0.2% in squalene. Retinol really does help with anti-aging. It also makes my skin look much more glowy and refreshed. I have noticed that it does help with uh, simple breakouts that I'm having. If you're gonna be wearing this, do it at night because uh, it's not very good to go out in the sun after you put this on. Um, if you do use these products, make sure you use sunscreen. Next, I am gonna talk about this bad boy. This is something that I hated at first. Um, I noticed it at Target. So Urban Skin RX is a brand of Target and I just wanted to try it, but it's a dark spot, rapid repair, retinol treatment, retinol again. It does have kojic acid and niacinamide. So what I do with this is sometimes I do mix it in with my other niacinamide because this is more of a thick cream and this is more of a serum. And I don't do this more than once a week, but if I'm having like really bad breakouts, I'll mix the two together and let it sit on my face overnight and I don't add moisturizer unless I'm really dry in some areas um, and it really like helps even out my tone but I don't recommend this if you have dry skin because it does make your skin peel um, very easily so you have to be careful with that. You can also use this as a spot treatment which is pretty dang cool um, because I haven't really found a spot treatment that I love other than tea tree oil. So tea tree oil is something that I use on spot treatments, which means if I have a little pimple um, or feel a pimple coming on, you can use organic tea tree oil, which is just all natural. So um, this is really great for antibacterial reasons, uh, whatever it may be, pimples, um, cold sores. Like it's also really good if um, 
you're having like yeast infection issues, which sorry guys if you're watching this, but it does help. Look it up, it's amazing. Everyone should have tea tree oil in their house. Next, I'm gonna go into what I moisturize with. So I actually switched over to a really basic moisturizer. You should not, you should not have perfumes in your moisturizer. Absolutely not. Try to stay away from fragrance in your moisturizer. Um, I chose to go lightweight because I do really focus on serums, as you can see. So this is great. I just add like a little tiny amount after all my serums. Um, and it doesn't make me break out. It feels like nothing. Like it doesn't feel like it's thick or oily. And it helps actually repair your skin barrier. So that's pretty cool. If I am feeling really, really dry and I need extra moisture, I use this um, Fruit of the Earth Vitamin E skincare cream. So this has uh, vitamin E, aloe vera, sunflower seed oil, collagen, so it helps you keep your youth. Um, if you are more acne prone, try not to use it in your acne prone area sometimes, unless it's scarring because it does have vitamin E, which is really beneficial towards healing scars on your face. So I definitely recommend that if you are struggling with scarring. Lastly, I'm just gonna talk about a lip product that I've been liking. So this is Verso Lip Serum. Um, and it has retinol 8 in it. Yeah, so it's anti-aging, softening, and plumping, which is just all the results that I have seen. Um, so this is great. If you need like a nighttime lip treatment, that's pretty good. I would recommend this. If you are interested in The Ordinary, their name is The Abnormal Beauty Company. And this, I guess, line is called The Ordinary. Uh, they sell it at Ulta. You can buy it online easily um definitely like all of these serums here and this toner i ordered online because stay at home stay safe order um and with shipping and tax included it was only 29 dollars. so i definitely recommend looking into these products if you have similar skin to me which is combination skin um you're acne prone you have sensitive skin i have very sensitive skin uh, I also struggle with pigmentation issues, so I turn really pink easily. Um, my acne is super red. I struggle with um, texture in some areas, so definitely would recommend these for all those issues. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this will help some of you guys out there. Um, if you are interested in looking into these products, I have linked them down below. Uh, thanks for watching.